Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh It's uh, Zamrul again Thanks for watching um, I will uh, Recap What uh, we have so far In the previous uh, Videos I have, uh, I have shared with you On how to Put on the layout Of uh, Gap Model I put the layout uh, such as uh, how to define a reservoir tank in gap by importing all the data from ember into gap i also have shown you how how we configure the, the well the ipr part and also the vlp information into gap and uh, i also share with you on how to more or less uh, run a single uh, network solving uh, with, without any optimization options and uh, now I'm going to share with you how to define a pipeline in GAP and afterward I will share with you on how to run a forecast using GAP a forecast basically we try to produce the reservoir at a at a predetermined uh, gas leaf uh, gas uh, gas production rates uh, until the, the reservoir depletes okay okay here we go and to define a pipeline go to a pipeline icon and double click into it so it will bring you to a familiar looking uh, pipeline or equipment summary pages go to equipment summary pages okay here what I will do I will rename the pipeline I put a name to a pipeline yes. export. Export. export line and then I will click input so the because this is an uh, uh, onshore pipeline so the surrounding temperature I will put like 85 degree Fahrenheit and I will keep the rest as default value and then I move to this, the, the second tab which is description so this is the most important tab for us to how we are going to define the pipeline okay as you can see here there is a, a segment column segment type column length TVD inside diameters roughness K values so I will go to the first and second row here under segment type if you click into any of this a drop down menu will appear with several features several type of uh, segment line pipe, choke, coated, flexible, fittings for this case I will choose line pipe ok the line pipe so this is where how much uh, how many distance that the the, the, uh, the, uh, the production fluid from the well has to travel on a horizontal plane towards the sales point in this case I would like to put it as uh, 100 kilometers be aware of the unit which is here in feet I will change it to kilometer which is more convenient for me 100 kilometers for your information I can easily cut, uh, convert this into different unit once I enter it there so to feet so it's calculate the the, the length in feet so put it back into kilometers ok uh, the next one is the TVD TVD here is to define what is the elevation of the pipeline in this case I would like to define the pipeline as a complete flat uh, horizontal ok so the inlet is at a zero elevation 
and the outlet also at zero elevation so it's completely flat the next one is the inside ID the unit is in inches so I will just put 32 inches roughness I'll just keep it default and the other thing that we need to be aware of is the flow correlation so I will choose Petroleum Expert 5 which is similar to uh, the well uh, the flow cor correlation that we use in the well okay and after that click OK once uh, the input uh, the pipeline has been uh, described you will see that the pipeline now has turned into blue the color has turned into blue that means there will be a pressure drop calculation through this because we already assigned the physical properties of the pipeline rather than just a simple connectors okay so now we can quickly run I will show you it again in order to solve network you can either go here run network solver or you can go to this icon run no network solver again I will use 500 separator pressure as my delivery point click next again the network solver I will still pick a mode no optimization so very quick go back to me so here you can see um, it's a slight different now because we already input a, a pipeline configuration just now uh, the upstream pressure still 500 still the same the, the, the landing pressure but the upstream pressure have a 3 psi higher okay and the gas leaf rate still remain unchanged Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to run a forecast. To run a forecast, uh, I will refer to this button, Run Predictions. Click Predictions. So this is where I have to specify the start date of my forecast. My prediction is the uh, well will start to flow at uh, 1st of January 2020 and it will end 1st of uh, January 2020, uh, 2040 I can either choose um, a step size of one month or one year because I don't intend to make any changes uh, in a yearly cycle so just speak here so it will run much faster with that ok and click next nothing here click next my separator pressure stays the same go no optimization Okay. So we we'll take okay, it's quite fast for this. Then from here there is a shortcut that we can plot the results. To plot the uh, uh, reservoir parameters, click plot tank. Reservoir H, yep. Got it right. As you can see here, this is the average uh, gas production. And if I want to put additional information in this plot, click at, click at the variables. First exit is gas for the average gas production, and the second exit will be reservoir pressure. So I can see that the reservoir pressure has been declined steadily. I repeat the uh, uh, plot notes. I 
check everything I just select well plot and then we have a production production rates the gas rate variables I would like to see the, uh, the bottom hole pressure again the bottom hole pressure declines steadily along this go back to the main mm, if let's say I want to specify production rate of this well to be maintained at certain values uh, for example like uh, 60 million scarf per day how long that the well can sustain the rate at 60 million scarf maximum until the pressure becoming too low and the production start to drop so how I can do that I can do it by setting a constraint I click on the separator which is the sales point so in the sales point go to the second go to the input tab and then sub uh, sub tab under constraint this is where I can specify maximum gas rate so I can specify it into 60 million scarf per day as you can see here so there is a constraint sign, two uh, arrows pointing each other, showing that this equipment has been set, uh, has been there is a constraint specified at this equipment, which will eventually affecting each other. So before we run the prediction, uh, I I go to the well and select it as a controllable. This 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 is to uh, to allow gap to control the opening of the well so that gap can limit or try to keep the production rate up to the constraint that we just specified, which, which is uh, at the uh, fifty uh, sixty million scarf per day. So the circle here now uh, showing that the well is controllable by gap automatically so go to the forecast data yep, go straight go straight okay here we have to optimize with constraint we, we need to select this information if we want uh, gap to control the opening of the of the well to meet the constraint calculate so that's the result let's look at the tank plot okay here the average gas production is um, in the brown line initially gap able to control the well at the desired at the desired uh, production level until eventually the reservoir pressure is becoming too low that the well can no longer supply to uh, can no longer keep the production rate at uh, 60 million scarf per day so the production will start to decline from 2030 okay so that's how we run a forecast with the constraint Okay, that's, uh, that's all for now. Uh, see you in the next video.